Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Ananya. Today I'm going to be showing you my affordable and realistic shower routine. But before starting off with the video, I want to tell you that my skin or hair is not at all flawless. I have suffered from serious skin and hair issues. So the products that I'm going to be showing you today have helped me keep my problems on check and I hope it helps you too. To start off, I like to detangle my hair and clip it. Then I use a body oil from Morish all over my body. Massage it for some time and then leave it for at least 15 minutes before going to the shower. Now, Orish is a local brand here in Kolkata. They have got some amazing quality products and I really love them. They are available on Amazon Flipkart and on their official website only. Since winter has almost arrived and this body oil will keep my skin moisturized throughout the day, it also helps with tanning and reducing any marks that I have on my skin. Now for the actual shower routine, I always begin with shampooing my hair. I'm using the Bare Anatomy shampoo. I always dilute my shampoo with water and apply it with my fingertips section wise. I do not overuse my shampoo and always apply it onto my scalp, massage it for some time and just before washing it off, I take the leftover foam towards my ends and blend it all together to avoid dryness. Keep in mind that oil and dirt buildup accumulates onto your scalp, not onto your shaft. Next, I'm using the coffee scalp scrub from M Caffeine. One of my friends had actually suggested me to try the plums one, but it wasn't available anywhere for some reason. So I went for this and uh, for me, it has worked pretty well. Also, if any one of you have uh, used the plums one, do share your feedback. Now I like to massage it for 2 minutes and then rinse it off with water. Scalp scrubs help in deep cleaning your scalp so if you have sticky or oily dandruff then you must try this product instead of an anti-dandruff shampoo. I have quit using any anti-dandruff shampoos way before I actually started using any scrub because of the fact that how harsh it is for our hair and it made my hair look so dull and dehydrated. Next I'm reapplying my shampoo for the final time just so my hair is completely clean. For conditioning I always like to use a hair mask instead of a conditioner because using a hair mask on dehydrated hair really makes a difference. Uh, at least it did to me and if you have oily hair then you can go on with a conditioner. I apply it section wise from mids to the ends, emulsify the product, wrap it because of my back knee and let it sit for 5-10 to 10 minutes before rinsing it off with water. I have shot this video in 2 days but usually I use a microfiber cloth after cleaning my hair or simply squeeze out the excess water and clutch it. Then moving on to my body, I first pour lukewarm water to open up my pores. You can even do the same thing with your hair if your scalp or sharp is too oily. Next I'm using the Body Wise 1% Salicylic Acid Body Wash. Now it claims to prevent bacne or body acne, exfoliate dead skin cells and soothe skin. Now it has definitely reduced my body acne but not the other two uh, factors. If, you're suff if you do not suffer from any such problem then avoid this product as this product is quite dehydrating. I'm using a pumice stone to remove dirt, hard or dead skin from my feet. Don't be too harsh with this process although it might seem that I did it aggressively but honestly I did not. Now to exfoliate my skin, I'm using the overhyped M Caffeine Coffee Body Scrub to scrub my body. Honestly, for me, it didn't create any difference onto my skin, although initially I really liked the product because of the fact that it removes your dead skin cells efficiently, but besides this, it doesn't have any other extra benefit. Hence, I usually use this product whenever I'm removing my body hair because you guys know how much I focus on prepping my skin before going for any hair removal method. Now I'm using this shaving foam and a razor from Let's Shave to remove only my body hair. Do not use it in your bikini area. You can also substitute this shaving foam with any shaving oil, aloe vera gel or even body wash for that matter but if you're using any foam to shave your body make sure that you do not apply it 
uh, apply the product all at once in your entire body because the foam gets disappeared after some time so if you are shaving your legs first then apply it on your legs first and then move on to your hands and vice versa after completing my shaving routine i clean my body with cold water to minimize my pores and soothe my skin and finally i use a face wash to clean my face before coming out of the shower after coming out of the shower i gently pat dry my skin to soak the excess water now on my damp skin i immediately apply a soothing toner then use this body serum from orish leave it for a minute then use the body wise 10% niacinamide body lotion all over my body again let it sit for a minute then i am applying the sanfe elbow cream on my elbows as well as on my knees and finally finishing it off with m caffeine body butter now you don't have to follow so many steps of body care routine uh, you can use whatever suits you the best but the reason why i uh, follow several steps of uh, body care routine is because as i mentioned uh, earlier that my skin is very uh, dehydrating and uh, since winter has also arrived and on top of that i'm using the uh, body wise salicylic uh, acid body wash Now coming back to my hair I'm applying a generous amount of Anamolis leave-in conditioner on my shaft I know recently there has been quite a lot of discussion about this brand but for me it has worked really well also I recommend it to one of my cousins and she loved it too once it gets absorbed I take 3 pumps of my CK hair serum onto my palms spread it evenly across my fingers and gently run my fingers through my hair With this I'm finally done with my shower routine. I know it was too lengthy, but believe me, it has really improved my skin texture and quality of my hair. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and share your feedback in the comment section down below. Until next time, bye-bye.